now we have um, part two of question number five from C12. Um, actually, it's C2, not C12. That's a mistake here. Let me fix that. Let's just say C2. Okay, June 2015 legacy paper. Okay, now. Um, there we go. A different geometric series has a first term of 42, so we'll say A is equal to 42, and a common ratio of 6 over 7, so R is equal to 6 over 7. Find the smallest value of N for which the sum of the first N terms of the series exceeds 290. So the sum of a, se of a geometric series, the sum for the first N terms is going to be given by A times, now, if the common ratio is less than 1, it's best to put 1 minus r to the power of n of 1 minus r. Okay, this is a formula that's given to us in the formula book. You can see for C2, there's a formula book which tells a 1 minus r to the power of n of 1 minus r. Okay, so we can, you know, just use that formula book to answer this question. Okay, so now... So it says the first term is 42, so a is 42, the common ratio is 6 over 7, and we want to find the smallest value of n for which this is the first n, n terms of the series exceeds 290. So let's find out when the sum actually equals 290 first, and then we can work out uh, the first value of n, which will be more than 290. So let's say, let's just put everything into this form. So a is 42, 1 minus r, which is 6 over 7, to the power of n over 1 minus 6 over 7, 1 minus 6 over 7. Okay, we know what that is. And we want to know when that's equal to 290. That's what we want to know. Okay, so now, we're going to have um, 1 minus 6 over 7 is 1 over 7, right? So you have 42, 1 minus 6 over 7 to the power of n. Okay. Um, over 1 over 7 equals 290. Okay, now that's like 7 times 42. Okay, 42 divided by 1 over 7 is like 42 times 7. So we just multiply 42 by 7, and that gives us 294. So we know that 294 times 1 minus 6 over 7 to the power of n is equal to 290. Okay, so 1 minus 6 over 7 to the power of n is equal to 290 over 294. Let's see what that simplifies to. 290 divided by our answer gets 145 over 147. Okay, let's make some more saves. So 1 minus 6 over 7 to the power of n is 145 over 147. Okay, now what I want to do is make that 6 over 7 to the power of n the subject of this formula. So I'll have 1, I'll have 1 minus um, 145 over 147 is equal to 6 over 7 to the power of n. Okay, now that gives you 2 over 147 equals 6 over 7 to the power of n. Okay. So now we've got to solve this equation. Now this equation can be solved using logarithms. Okay. So if I take the, the, the log to the base 10 of both sides, just say log of 2 over 147 equals log 6 over 7 to the power of n. I don't have to write base 10. It means base 10. You just write log. Then I can um, say log of 2 over 147 is equal to n times the log of 6 over 7. Okay. Now I can divide both sides by log 6 over 7. And I'm really left with what n is. So I can now say that n is equal to the log of 2 divided by 147 divided by the log of 6 over 7. And let's see what that gives us. 
Okay. So our calculator, we have a lin button, have a log. I don't see a button that just says log on this calculator. So we'll put log to the base 10 of, in brackets, 2 over, oops, of fraction 2 over 147. Oops. 2 divided by 147. Okay, and that's divided by the log to the base 10 of 6 over 7. 6 over 7. And that gives us an answer 27.877. 27.877. Now, of course, n can only be a whole number. So the first time, when, when n is 27, it will not quite have reached, okay, the sum of the first n, n terms of the series will not have reached 290, okay? But when n equals 28, it will have reached 290. So n is equal to 28, okay? But when it got to 27, it won't quite have reached it. It will be less than that, okay? Because it's it's when it's at 27 point when n is 27.8, it's going to reach 290. But n can only be a whole number. So when n is 27, it's less than 290. When n is 28, it's going to be more than 290. So it says find the value of n such that the smallest value of n for which the sum exceeds 290. So it will be more than 290 when n is 28, and less than 290 when n is 27. So the answer is 2. 28. You don't write, you don't write 27.8 or 27.9. No, n has to be a whole number only. Okay, so that's the answer to that question. Thank you for paying attention, watching.